What is up, guys? It is Thursday night. It is bait man time. Let me see if I can fix this thing here. Oh, there's light. Let's go light. Let's see if I can get this thing where our uh, quiet mode turned on. I don't want quiet mode. Oh, gosh. Someone leave a comment. Make sure I can see your comment. Tell me hi or whatnot if I can see it. Uh, we'll keep going. If not, I'm actually going to restart this thing, and because I need, I'm going to need to see comments tonight. So somebody, what's up, Brad, Tracy? Somebody leave a comment, other than a thumbs, thumbs up. God dang it! Oh, there we go. Oh, Tony says, "What's up? What's up, Steve? All right, so we're good tonight. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, first coming on here." Let's go ahead and hit this thing a thumbs up and let's get this shared. Will the real bait man stand up? I am the real bait man for the moment. Uh, guys, let's uh, make sure you share this. I got lots of cool information, got lots of new product information, uh, restocks of some popular stuff, some new colors and some popular stuff. And then we're going to talk about square bill crankbaits. I'm going to talk about setups, uh, line, rods, and reels. Uh, I got a low end, a medium end, and a high end setup. I think you guys will like it. Um, it's going to be a great show. My battery's already halfway gone, so I may have to make this a two part show. Is this on the 15th? It is the 15th. This is after Valentine's Day. What's up, Eric Philburn? How you doing, buddy? Go through these comments here. So, we got a lot of cool stuff in this week. Uh, I'm going to show a new product off right now. Uh, what's up, Gene Jensen? Fluke Masters in here. Uh, so, again, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and share the video if you haven't already, and we'll get this show on the road. Who won? Uh, that video uh, is on, I think his name is Paul Trout. He won the giveaway. Or maybe we'll do a giveaway for one of these. These just come in stock. This is the new Tackle Freaks uh, unstructured hat. That sucker fits good right there. So if you don't like this flex fit style, these are now on the website. Uh, they're the same price as the flex fit. And I've been hearing a lot of people say I want the camo hat. I've got a few of the Tackle Freaks flex fit and snack back camos left. And then we got a new color. Uh, my Murray State guys wanted a blue. If you're a UK fan, uh, we got a blue snap back with gold. Uh, it's a little bling on your snapback. I've never worn blue, so I'm going to check this thing out real quick. Oh, yeah, that ain't bad at all. This is a great feeling, great fitting hat. Uh, thanks to my man, Ron Champion, for fixing me up. Uh, Ron's got a great clothing company called Build to Fish, or Built to Fish, so check him out. Um, so that's new on TackleFreaks.com. Not a problem, Jim, absolutely. Well, we're going to get some Tennessee orange. I have to find the right hat to do Tennessee orange because, you know, you got if you're going to rep the orange, it's got to be right. I don't want none of that Adidas-looking slop. So, um, Also, uh, updates, new products. Let's roll through the new products, new colors, and then we'll get into square bill crankbait. This right here, uh, if you're a kayak fisherman, you're really going to like this. Uh, these just came in today. I'm going to get them on the website tomorrow. Uh, if you have uh, a Yak Attack black crate, you know, they're a little heavy. Now Plano has a soft-sided uh, kayak box. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. Uh, price point, uh, $42 right here. Uh, you've got all these straps on it. So if you're a kayak guy, this right here is really nice. You can actually uh, unbuckle the top here. And you've got storage of these two saddle bags that store two 3,600 boxes. Uh, you can store 3,700 boxes in here. Uh, this right here is awesome, nice and lightweight. Uh, I'm gonna get this on Tackle Freaks uh, tomorrow. I know guys have been wanting this. And you can actually uh, unbutton this side piece right here. And you can slide your bag right here. This is a 3,600 bag. And then, if you want to, you can buckle it up right here, and your bag can hang up on the side. This goes right behind your seat. That thing is pretty awesome. So, might want to share this video out into the kayak groups or anywhere else. Uh, I'm really, I'm really pumped about that. And that, that thing's cool, even for uh, bass boat guys. Dude, you can get a bunch of stuff in there. That would be, this would be an awesome co-angler bag. Uh, you know why? 
This would be awesome as a co-angler because you can store this right in the back of your boat or storage compartment. Think about that. Not just for kayaks, for the co-angler. So we got we got that. I'll get that on Tackle Freaks tomorrow. I've been really busy, guys. I want to say thank you so much to all the people who have been shopping with us. And uh, I've stayed really busy. Uh, next in, new stuff uh, from Profound Outdoors. Everybody loves the Z-Boss guys, and here's some new colors. I don't want to take them all the way out of the package. This is Goldilocks right here. Uh, this is almost like a Threadfin Shad color. This one is really, really sweet. Uh, this is in the Z-Boss 22, and they are in stock. They are ready to ship. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, dude, I love this one. This one is called Hot Mess. And Hot Mess is basically a chartreuse sexy shad looking color and it has that silvery powder blue chartreuse sides whoo y'all better get these i went ahead and got these early because i knew with these new colors a lot of guys would really be uh wanting to have them and profound is going to sell them really quick uh they told me z boss may get scarce this year so may want to jump on that this is another awesome color right here look at all the purple in that this one is called a uh, gold digger which has got a little gold on the side, but it's got some awesome purple in it. Great, great Tennessee River color. What's up, Michael Short? Uh, and then I like this one. This is called a Blazing Boss, kind of a blue glimmer, a big thread fin kind of style color. Awesome color, and that's in the Z Boss 22. Uh, these are these new colors are also in the 10, which is a great bait, and we'll talk about spring crankbaits next week, non square bill baits, and then. Everybody's favorite, oh, chartreuse powder blue. And they call this one Moon Beam. All those colors are available in the Z-Boss 22 on TackleFreaks.com. Uh, because, you know, there's never a bad time to have deep crankbaits. Not on the Tennessee River. Uh, and that's something else new from Profound Outdoors. Uh, I've got the new Shaker uh, Z, and this is called the Knock Knock. This is actually a really good bait. The guys at Gunnersville talk about this bait quite a bit uh, so it is a lipless bait if I can get it out of the package lipless bait built very similar to like a Yozuri or red eye shad uh, but it's got the knock in it that everybody likes this knocking style bait a really rounded front end uh, I've thrown these quite a bit they do not make it in root bear Aaron Strickland this is profound outdoors not rattle trap and uh, that color right there, Aztec, is a killer. Matter of fact, I'd love to have some square bills painted up in that color. But that is the Knock Knock. I'll have that on Tackle Freaks tomorrow. Uh, you know, you don't find the Profound Outdoors on a lot of websites. Yes, uh, Cody, I think they're like $7.99. So really good competitive price point. Uh, it's competitive with like Six Cents and Strike King and everybody. I uh, got to meet the guys from Profound Outdoors, uh, head guys, two weeks ago, Mr. Todd Raspberry and his partner. And, of course, I know Timmy Horton really well and uh, really appreciate it. Really great guys, and they asked me a lot of great questions about sales and the industry and stuff like that. Correct, Jeremy, looks very close to the old Daiwa vibe, which was a great bait. How many do you have of that color? Gene, I got four of them. I went on a test run. If you need me to, I also have these in the non knock knock. Uh, that's just the Shaker Z. Uh, I can save them for you. Just send me a message. I'll get you taken care of. And uh, anyway, so that's new. And now I'm going to show you uh, some new colors from Six Cents. Uh, the Thud 70s are back in stock. The Thud 80s, I only got a few colors. Six Cents is selling these things so, so fast. But I got some new colors in the uh, the Thud uh, 70s. I want to show you guys really quick. This color is really sweet. Uh, they call this color a Craw Bomb. And it's kind of a transparent golden red color. And that is that, uh, that's the Thud. Of course, they come with all triple grip hooks. Really, really like this color. This is sweet. Uh, can't wait to do the lipless show. I'm going to wait till my rattle traps come because I ordered like two grand of rattle traps today. 
plus rattle trap is making tackle freaks a custom color i am so excited about that so excited uh, this is another new color uh, you've probably seen this is bull crawfish that's the thud uh, 70 the thud quake one knocker style these are super super popular they are going fast if you look on uh, tackle warehouse some other websites um, that uh, lot of six cent stuff is gone uh, not gonna be in stock till like end of April June so I suggest if you like some of this go ahead and jump on it uh, this is the regular quake uh, that color is radiation crawfish which is like a bone orange black really really like this you can tell how loud the quake is just in that package right there and then the color a lot of guys have really really been uh, wanting uh, lava truce in the quake 70 this is one of my favorite colors kind of like the strike king green tomato yeah i wish i could get an lv500 in a custom color i wish i could just get lv500 period i will say lucky craft hooked me up on square bills you'll see that tonight so those are new colors but the thing i am most excited about is i'm going to dell hollow lake tomorrow night i am leaving and i'm going to try this bad boy out and i just put these on the website hopefully i have one to use uh, this is the Curve 55, but this is the color Black Magic. You Ohio River Dirty Water guys. Uh, thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. Uh, you can get the shirt and hat on TackleFreaks.com if you want to dress up as me for Halloween. Black Magic. Check that dude out. If Del Hall is dirty, I'm throwing this thing. And look at this awesome butt finish. Six cents. I'm going to tell you right now, they have the best paint jobs Uh they are almost look, I mean, they're custom painted and but mass produced. Uh, it's unreal how good uh, Casey and the guys at Six Cents have been able to do as far as paint schemes. Man, Casey, man, he was painting those baits back on the Bass Fishing homepage stage. I know, like, I'm pretty sure Gene Jensen was on Bass Fishing homepage, Alex Davis and Mike Buka, and dude, Casey was showing these things off and really proud of his success. Uh, really started as a custom painter guys on company love those that is black magic uh and then uh got the bluegill spawn in that thing what's up rob crane absolutely keith we'll have to uh we'll have to talk tomorrow man i'm gonna tell you guys i'm gonna be out of town for a couple days with Dell hollow uh, i'll try to get everything i can on the website i'm gonna turn my cell phone off this weekend so i'm really looking forward to that because I probably ain't going to have service anyway, so I might as well turn that sucker off because I ain't going to catch some jinks. So, let's get into square bill crankbaits. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything else new. I, I don't. Um, if you don't know what a square bill crankbait is, it is a crankbait that has a square bill. And I'm going to show you one right now. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about the most popular one, uh out there and, and what kind of started the square bill craze and ironically just won the last Bassmaster tournament uh, this is uh, a lucky craft LC 1.5 this is the TO series this is my favorite color uh, crankbait uh, for the spring that's not red uh, when that water's got some color like Kentucky Lake does right now I'll really do well on chartreuse and purple the color's MS Crack. They don't even make this bait anymore. Now, saying that, the original uh, RC Series Square Bill, I'm going to go ahead and give you all some history right now, uh, was not designed by Rick Klein. Uh, a guy from Benton, Kentucky named Mike Otten designed this bait. And long story short, it ended up with Rick Klein's uh, uh, name on it now i'm not going to go into the specifics of why that happened i know why it happened because I, I kind of indirectly worked for lucky craft but this is the bait that mike designed and then went with rick's name and then takahiro so what they did do uh is uh now the usa series is 6.99 so i'm going to grab one of those real quick so this is theoretically the same bait the only difference is there's a little cheaper split rings and components on this. There's no tux, tungsten on the inside uh, compared to these style. This is silent. Uh, there is not a there's not a rattle in this RTO. 
Uh, this color is Flake Flake Raven Red Crow. If you got uh, some clear water, this is a great one. Um, and then, um, so Takahiro wanted on T.O. Crawl, but my favorite colors in these things, chartreuse and purple, dirty water. Uh, 1.5 has a really tight wobble. And I like to fish it pretty fast. Uh, copper green shad. This is a, uh, actually this is copper perch. This is like the old school RC 1.5 colors. A lot of guys have been asking, do they make them? They do. Um, this is in the new ones. These are a great price point of, of $6.99 online. Um, basically, how what I was told how Lucky Craft dropped the price is they quit uh, paying for quality control for one out of every like five baits. They only QC one out of every hundred. Uh, they changed some of the components. Love this color in clear water. This is uh, called Magic Blue Crawl. And that clearish, bluish water, your Potomac River places that's got a lot of inshore saltwater mix, marsh areas, you got to love that blue crawl. And that's the 1.5 square bill, a very smaller size. This is only a one and a half inches long, hence the name 1.5. This is going to dive anywhere two to four feet. Let's talk setups before I get any further. Uh, I'm basically going to throw... Uh, I'm going to throw this one the most, my 1.5 size square bill. Uh, my personal preference, I like a 7 foot medium heavy, medium or glass rod. Dustin, you can, I cannot get them in lavender shad. That is a color that's exclusive to Bass Pro. Uh, so I've got three great setups here. I don't have my square bill rod because I'm going to be honest, it is custom made and you can't buy it off the street. But this rod is, you know, this is the one that was featured in my video. This is the Daiwa Tatula Elite 7 foot Takahiro cranking rod. I don't have to say much about it. Talk smoked them on a square bill uh, with this setup. The only difference is I put the Daiwa Tatula SV on here. This is uh, $199, so this is your mid price point. This is a $350 setup, $169 on the rod. But one thing about this rod, if I can do this, and you'll see, uh, it's got a lot of tip here. And I like this tip because you can, you can launch these baits. That's a moderate action on that rod. Uh, this is a glass blend rod, so it is a little heavier. It's got a short butt on it. It's not a real long handle, so you can make those easy uh, casts in and out cover. It does have some weight to it, but uh, that moderate action really has got, is really great for the springtime. You don't pull hooks out of a lot of fish. Steve Bobcock, I got an XB1 here you may have never seen. But, uh, so that's, uh, that combo right there is going to run you about 350 to your door. Uh, Now, if you want to go a low end, there's several great $99 reels on the market. When I want to talk about gear ratio, too, on square bill crankbaits, I don't go any lower than a 6 to 1, but my favorite 7. The reason is, these are reaction baits. You want to crash these things into cover. You want to burn them into stumps and stop them, burn them down gravel banks. But if you do need to slow down in that colder weather, it's a lot. It's really easy to slow down with a seven to one reel and speed up if you need to. I don't do very good on a five to one because sometimes these fish come at you, and I feel like you need that speed to catch up. But this is a, a Denali Attacks. I really like this rod. I think it's like a hundred bucks, something like that. Um, this is a seven foot medium. Uh, again, seven foot medium. Got lots of tip action right here. This rod's gonna load up really, really good with those square bill crankbaits. Um, and I've got this thing paired up with a $99 Luge, Luge, Luge Speed Spool. Uh, and you can swap any nine uh, reel you want to out on this. This is my price point setup. This can be at your door for 200 bucks. Wind grip on the rod, uh, really lightweight. I like this rod. Very good cranking uh, setup. I know Russ Lane likes this a lot. I'll, we'll talk about him uh, later. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to give away a free Denali rod. I think I'm going to do it on the Tackle Freaks page tomorrow. So let's... I appreciate Denali for sending one. Uh, but uh, that's a great setup. Again, I like anything 6'8", 7 foot. Uh, Andrew, uh, no we don't, but I have one personally. Send me a message and uh, let's make a deal. 
Um, that's going to be a great setup. Square bills, I don't ever go over a seven foot rod, maybe seven foot two, but six, six to seven foot, that's kind of my, your, your warehouse for a square bill. Cause really you're not making real, real, real far casts. You're target, you're throwing the targets. You know, you watch Takahiro, he was fishing the bait, but he was making really precise casts to one single area. And that you don't need a real long launching rod. You need a short, accurate rod. Cause you can skip square bills too. Um, do a lot of roll casting now if you're a guy and you got uh, donald trump money which i wish we all did or you just like really high-end equipment uh i got a really good setup for you and this is the absolute lightest square bill setup i can find this is it this is the shimano metanium mgl hg seven to one and i've got this on a seven foot glass x pride um, that's a good rod, Dustin. Very good rod. This rod is a medium, uh, glass, moderate action. And dude, this is lighter than a lot of the graphite cranking rods. This thing is the berries. All right, $269.99, but you're looking at $400 on the reel. Uh, so, you know, almost 700 bucks. Uh, love the MGL, man. I love this reel. It is unreal. And that's not hating on anybody else. I just love this reel. I like the Steez, too. You know, I like the Steez. But if you want to go all out, uh, this right here uh, is really good. Again, glass, soft tip. Yes, Fuego is a great crankbait rod, Eric. Great. What pound test are those chin hairs? Too heavy for cranking. Uh, 65 braid, buddy. Uh, so if you, you've got all the money in the world, this is what you go with. The one thing I will say on this reel, a lot easier to cast really light baits uh, with these metaniums and steez and like that. The Concept Z, uh, even the Concept uh, K, I believe. It's really lightweight. I think Gene Jensen can let you know about that. Uh, great for light baits. So when you're throwing these in the wind, it does help to pay a little more. Not for everybody. Obviously, this is just a high-end setup. Personally, I don't own this, but I'd love to. Maybe if Shimano can't sponsor Dave Mercer, they could hook me up. So anyway, we see a common theme in all our reels and our rods. Moderate action, seven foot or less. Uh, medium, Craig. Uh, medium heavy, you can get away with. One company's medium heavy is another company's medium. I will say the X Prides are a little softer uh than other companies rods i'm glad you love that uh i'm glad you love that carado rod carl i like them as well what's up jason sealock from wired to fish is in here just got done reading a great article and watched a cool video with oliver uh nye with the uh, uh wired to fish the other night yeah old carado 200 bantam hard to beat for light baits uh, but those are my three setups. So you got a price point, a medium, and the high end Donald Trump. Make it rain. We can make it rain. So uh, let's get into bait. So we've already covered the Lucky Craft 1.5. Obviously a great bait. It's won a ton and ton of money. Caught a lot of janks. Um, let's see. I'm going to go through my box real quick. Uh, let's just go by companies. And most popular. If you can't talk square bills really without talking about Strike King. Love Strength Cake. Yeah, Phoenix makes also glass rods. Yes, Trace, I am stocking the X Pride. Uh, 13 makes a Concept C, buddy. I got them right here behind me, new in the box. Uh, I, I can't, I don't know who told you that, but I can promise you make the C. Uh, I don't know if they make the E. I think they do. Uh, Jason would know. Um, but you can't talk square bills without talking Strike King. So you had the 1.5 Lucky Craft, and it made square bills really popular. And then you had my man, KVD, smoke them at, uh, over there in Louisiana, the Bassmaster Classic, Chartreuse and Black. And then my boy, Mark Zona, uh, he, uh, he smashed them on Kentucky Lake on TV, Chartreuse Perch. So I want to show you the different sizes in these square bills. I'm actually going to open these up. Uh, hopefully not too many people want to buy this color this week. 
So this is the 1.5 size. Let me find a 2.5. I actually bought this color somewhere else. I've never seen this color from Strike King. This is a pumpkin seed. Look at the back of that thing. Thank you, Gene, Mr. 13. I think I got you a new t-shirt. Gene, Mr. 13 Jensen. I like it. Uh, so pumpkin seed. That's a, that's a crazy color on the back. So uh, 1.5, 2.5. 2.5, I like in dirtier, muddier water. I want to imitate a little bit bigger uh, profile bait fish, such as this, like a bluegill. I really like this. Uh, a 1.5, you can imitate everything from a little perch to shad. I really like my red colors, though. Now I'm going to show you the 4.0. Going to dive a little bit deeper. It's going to go out to about six foot. This is for the guys that the Magnum 8.0 was a little too big, but they wanted something bigger than the uh, 2.5. So, this right here, this is Delta Craw. Uh, my boy uh, Sam Lashley just been catching a few on this right here. Now, look at the size comparison from a 2.5. Uh, let me turn them the same way. A 4.0, 2.5. Can't even see myself. 4.0 completely covers that up. You're going to get an even bigger wobble off this, uh, but you got more surface area to bounce this up. The lick is well, lip is a little bit thicker. I like these bigger baits around big stumps and the backwaters and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to fish a little bit deeper stuff, maybe some pre-spawn flat fishing. Really like the 4.0. Definitely. Got to go with your reds, your chartreuses, your blacks in the spring. Definitely around that full moon, going to have to have some reds. Your grass lakes, reds are really deadly. Uh, when you get in that clearer water, I like to kind of start imitating my bluegill and my shad. Uh, you can bang these things. These are pretty durable baits. I'll give Strike King. They make a good, good bait. For the money, probably the best on the market because, you know, you're only paying five, six, maybe seven bucks. They do make the 2.5 and 1.5 in Raven Red, Chris. They don't make it in the 4. Uh, the 4.0 weighs, uh, I don't have a scale on me, but I don't. I think it weighs maybe 5 eighths of an ounce, maybe. Uh, let's see. Then, if that ain't big enough for you, if you want to go to Mexico square billing, or maybe you fish the Tennessee River, and you want to try to catch some absolute donkeys which one would you throw on kentucky lake i'm gonna tell you uh i'll throw all of them i'll throw everything up to the 8.0 i don't dictate let one lake dictate what size bait i'm gonna throw uh, matt allen makes a great point if you throw big baits you catch big fish that's true and you'll also catch the biggest fish around um you may not get the most bites uh, if i want bites I want to try to get a lot of bites. I'm going with the small size. If I want to catch uh, some bigger ones, uh, I'm going with this. It's the 8.0 mega. No kidding, the Jaint shirt was on Bass Blaster today. I guess I better tell Kumar uh, better get that campaign going again. Awesome. So there's the 8.0 Magnum versus the 4.0. This is a giant squirt bill. This is a mix of big, wide movements through the water. This is great. Uh, on Kentucky Lake, if you want to fish deeper points, bars, places you just can't get this 1.0 down to, you want to imitate this big river gizzard. Uh, I like the shad patterns in this. Great and dirty water. These are going to move a lot of water. Um, and the 8.0 is, you know, it's silent too. Just got that little tick from the split rings. Um, places I'm going to throw this, obviously lakes that have a larger big bass populations. Uh, but I'd like to answer that question again. Um, you know, what size do you throw on Kentucky Lake? I throw them all. I really like the water temperature, the water color, dictate what size I'm going to throw, and bait fish. If I'm uh, fishing, I see a lot of small bait, I'm going to throw that size. If I'm starting to see bluegill move, I know crawfish are moving, going to 2.5. The dark, dingier the water color, I like to go to a bigger, fatter style bait. Uh, that's not saying you can't use a 2.5 in clear water. You absolutely can. Seven-eighths of an ounce. Seven-eighths. 
Uh, I love the uh, Boss of Square Bells for, for uh, PH. Um, I'm going to put these back in the package real quick. I'm going to have to glue some packages tomorrow. So that's what you get from Strike King. Uh, let's talk about line real quick while, we're, while I'm thinking about it. I keep my line on Square Bells really, really simple. Uh, if I'm fishing around a lot of rock, not a lot of wood, kind of open water, I like 12-pound Sunline Assassin fluorocarbon. Super, super smooth, not a lot of stretch, great line, very affordable. I'm throwing this 75% of the time. Uh, canine fluor fluoro, it has some stretch to it, but it is really great cranking line. It is lightweight, cast very good. Ultra, ultra limp. You'll get a little bit more distance with the canine. And I'm just going to tell you, uh, Kelly let me know. Uh, he's going to be doing 300-yard spools because... He's selling so much 550, it's going to be hard to keep stock the next month. So we'll have some 300-yard spools of canine. Have you ever fished Tennessee River in Alabama, Pickwick, or Wilson? Yes, I have, Jerry. Uh, I fished Pickwick a couple times uh, two summers ago. Went and tested some 13 rods of Brandon Hunter and jacked them up on a Bass Tricks. I don't know if you talked about it, but what is your thought on Magnum Square Bills? Well, Seth, I was just talking about the the uh, the 8.0. This is a Magnum Square Bill. I really like this uh Yes, it is made by Hook Marks on TackleFreaks.com right now. Um, I love the Magnum Square Bills, especially on lakes that's got magnum-sized fish, uh, move a lot of water. I have just got a battery warning, 20%, so I've got to hustle my butt off. So we're going to have to do a different show. I'm just going to have to do YouTube videos on this stuff. Uh, Gene Jensen, if you got a Square Bill video, link it in this video. Uh, if anybody I trust the square bill is it is Gene Jensen. So I'm going to go through my personal box here. Uh, this is a good one. Somebody talked about boss of square bills. This is a personal bait. Uh, this is a, a PH custom square bill. I really, really like that one right there. Uh, thoughts on a Mega Bass S crank? Well, that's funny you asked that because I'm grabbing one right here. Uh, this is one of my, um, I've never fished in Ontario, Canada. I did go hunting there. This is the Mega Bass S crank. What's totally unique about this bait is the way it's built. It does not run straight out of the package. It runs at an S. It has a built-in hunting action. A lot of that has to do with how this bill and the front of it is made. Uh, this is the 1.5 size, but they also make a 1.2 size right here yeah i do pay money for these jim uh this is colors fire crawl this is one of my favorites it's a matte finish a little white belly uh <coughs> you can tell it's definitely smaller than the 1.5 this moves a lot of water so does this one um uh, i love that uh 1.2 fire crawl great spring colors dirty water gotta love that chartreuse black back i've caught a lot of fish on these things I do want to address this. There are a lot of people that make these and call them uh, S-cranks, and they're knockoff blanks, and they do not make this right there. Thank you, Gene. appreciate that. If you haven't, subscribed to a Fluke Master, my buddy. Hopefully, we go into Lake X uh, here in about a month and a half. Uh, the people that are selling these uh, as S-crank blanks, uh, the internal components, uh, internally, they're made different. Uh, a lot of people are putting ones with knockers and stuff in them. Original S crank does not have any weights or beads in here. Okay? And you're not going to get that same hunting action, which makes this bait really, really, really good. And I always tell guys there's nothing wrong with buying uh, uh, different blanks of baits, but the action is never as good as the original. Sometimes it's different, and different can be good. Uh, but if you're looking for that same S action, go with the Mega Bass. Got those on Tackle Freaks. I've uh, been selling them quite a bit here lately. Um, let's talk about Spro uh, real quick. Uh, running low on battery. Uh, Jerry, I love a rattle trap, man. I got a box full. We're going to talk about that here in a couple weeks. Yes, Chris, very good one. Bagley. Uh, so let's talk about Spro crankbaits. Uh, I'm just kind of going by brand. They got a new square bill out. Just come out last spring at the Classic. Uh, this is the Fat Papa square bill. So if you've thrown the deep, fat pop of crankbait, uh, you'll know a little bit about this bait. This color is honey crawl, great spring crawl color. 
The one cool thing about these, this bill is made of what they call micarta. Micarta is actually computer circuit board. And it has a different action when it hits wood. Uh, they're very durable. Uh, and I like this. This bait has a really good tight wobble. It's kind of like a cross between a 1.5. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than a 1.5, but not quite a 2.0 size. This is a really good one. And then if you want to go a little bit bigger, you can get the Fat Papa 70 square bill. I wish I had an underwater video of these. Maybe tactical bass and do square bills underwater. Uh, this color right here is sweet. Um, that is the Fat Papa 70. Look, look at that back, that purple black back. That is nasty right there. Uh, that color is actually called Red Craw. Those are on Tackle Freaks. Again, a bigger 2.5 size bait. Where can I find a weight bait that dives no more than two inches? Man, stop making the man's waker. Uh, I'm fixing to show you one. Um, let's see, a weight bait, a six cents makes a weight bait. Uh, Trey Harpel, TH Customs makes a weight bait. Spro makes a little John that goes zero to two foot. Use heavy mono and you can make it weight. Uh, so this is the Fat Papa 70. Really popular, come out last year. I expect to see a lot of guys using those this spring. And then one of my favorites uh, is the Little John crankbait. This is not the, the deeper diver, the MD. This is just the Little John. This is a Kentucky Lake color, guys, if you're a fishing kayak up here in Painted Titian. Uh, this is Root Beer Chartreuse. Uh, really like this. Uh, you can feel in this bait, there's a little ball in here, and it's got a... It goes it goes right through here, and that helps you cast these things right here. Uh, and this right here will catch you a lot of fish on Kentucky Lake. Uh, any of this color, uh, this one is going to dive about six, uh, six to four to six feet. This is really really good color. I really like this square bill because it's flat sided, so you get an ultra tight action. And man, this thing uh, bounce off stumps. Great. I've watched the fish grab this bait off a stump. Uh, I know my buddy Jason Seelock loves the Little Johns on Kentucky Lake. Uh, and he may not want me to show you this color. This is uh, the Little John, Fat John 60. So it's a little fatter, a little bigger. Going to get a little bit more wider wobble. But if you want to get down in the mud, that water hits that 65 degrees. And you want to get really shallow. I really like this one right here. This is the Kentucky Lake Co. This is Spring Crawl, the most popular one. I do like Pig Pen. That's a great color. So this one's a little bit shallower. You can see wider across the shoulders. Uh, so you're going to get a little bit wider wobble, but it's going to dive slightly shallower than the regular. Uh, now the Little John MD, I consider that a flat side. That's a middle diving crankbait. We'll be talking about those next week. Um, let me see what else I've got in here. Unfortunately, my phone wasn't charged all the way. This color right here. Mm, mm, this is a really good one. Gunnersville, Pickwick. I sell a lot of this right here. Your Texas Lakes. They really like this one right here. Do you use the stock hooks or do you change them out? For the most part, I actually uh, change them out. Uh, this box I've got right here and what I've been showing you has been in the store. And so I don't have nothing changed out. Uh, I like to go with a short shank like these owner short shank trebles or uh, most popular one is uh, if I'm going to a 2.0 size I really like the triple grip number twos by Mustad. I do not use bandits much square bills but I love bandit crankbaits. My buddy caught an eight on a spring crawl. I wouldn't doubt it. There's eights caught all the time. Lots of jaints on spring crawl. And I'm also trying to show you the colors I really like and prefer. You cannot go wrong in spring in reds, chartreuses, or browns. Any combination. You can wad them all up and make a tie-dye chartreuse, brown, and red crankbait, and I swear they'll eat it. It doesn't, it, that's just how it goes. And let's see what else I've got here. My battery is going to die. Somebody wanted to see this XB1. This may, uh, this is kind of more of my fall color. I actually got this in the Lucky Tackle box. That's pretty sweet right there. Uh, I would throw that in the spring. Uh, maybe some clearer water, stuff like that. 
Gene Jensen, golly. Look what I got right here, boys. The Bandit Flat Max. This is a square bill crankbait. The deep one's actually a coffin bill, but I guess we could put that in with square bills. If you know about the Bandit Flat Max, I probably shouldn't really have said much or Gene. This thing, I catch them. This is a great uh, flat side, you can see that. Flat side combination. I just put these on TackleFreaks.com tonight, by the way. Um, root beer chartreuse. Love that root beer. Speaking of, Rattle Trap is going to make a special root beer chartreuse rattle trap for TackleFreaks.com. So it's going to be like the root beer rattle trap, but with chartreuse. It's going to be awesome. Bandit Flat Max. Uh, these are great. Nobody bought Excalibur. Uh... Uh, nobody bought Excalibur. Uh, dude, I love Sour Apple. That was a good one. Excalibur is owned by Pradco Outdoor Brands. Pradco Outdoor Brands also own Booyah. Uh, I've explained this before. I'm going to go ahead and get it out there. So, all those Excalibur baits had people's signatures on them. Tim Horton, Alton Jones, Edwin Evers, whoever else. Uh, when those guys left Pradco, they're still having to buy, pay royalties on those bait sales. Well, you know what? You don't have to pay royalties if you don't make that bait anymore. So they diluted a company they own called Excalibur, and they moved all the Excalibur baits over into a new package packaging under Booyah. So basically, the baits are still the same. Now, they did decrease the size of the tungsten weight in the new uh, uh, Booyah one knockers. It's a half ounce size as opposed to the five eighths. So yes, the knocker's a different size, obviously because the bait's a different weight uh, to achieve that weight. But as far as internally in the bait and the way it's made, all that's the same. Now the colors do have a little variation. They changed who was painting the baits, but it's the same bait. I'm telling you, all I'm saying is that whatever eighth of an ounce from a half to five eighths, that's the only difference, the size of the knocker. Uh, but Excalibur never got bought out. It's the same company. They don't have to pay no royalties anymore. Speaking of, this is an awesome square bill. Uh, this is the Booyah Flex. Uh, what's really good about this is this Booyah Flex is super durable. It's made of, it's foam filled. Uh, so the inside's not hollow. It's, you can throw it off street, <clears throat> docks, trees, banging around. The bait's not going to break. Uh, Zach Burgess has been using this thing for a while. He loves this bait. Uh, these are on Tackle Freaks. I love that color, man. I, I just love that red in the spring. Uh, what else have I got here? Berkeley has great square bills. Uh, they've had to rename these. They say Pitbull 7.5 and Pitbull 5.5. These are really great. Uh, I love Tox, uh, Tatula Elite Cranking Rod, Brian. Love it. Uh, these are now called the square bull. Uh, so if you're looking for the pit bulls, uh, you may have to Google Berkeley square bull crankbait because the rapper pit bull told Berkeley, you cannot use that name. You cannot call your bait a pit bull anymore. And that is a true story, believe it or not. So that's my favorite call in the 5.5. That is spring crawl, obviously. Looks very similar to Mr. Spro. And if you like hot mustard, you'll like brown mustard. Now this is a 7.5. It goes down to about seven foot, but it's about the size of a, a KVD 2.5. Uh, these baits cast really good, got great hooks. And then they make a pit bull 3.5 if you like that 1.0 size square bill. Um, now I'll answer a few questions before my phone dies. I want to show you my all-time favorite square bill, and I don't even stock these on Tackle Freaks. Uh, and my buddy Ben Parker, Mr. Magnum Spoon, put me on these a few years ago, and I have absolutely slayed bass on this thing right here. This is a Jackal Aska 60. Uh, there's something about this bait. When you crash it into wood or rock, the way it backs up and deflects no other square bill will it has a micarta lip on it. Uh, this is like a chartreuse in purple, but it's a little matte. Dude, they 
I, they, they eat this thing. Whenever I find these in stock somewhere, I usually buy them up if I can. Uh, that color is really, really good, but they make some browns and chartreuse black that gets ate. But this is my all-time favorite one. That's a jackal ask. A very underrated. I feel like there's a lot of guys that throw this bait on the tour and they just don't talk about it. Uh, it is completely silent too. There's no rattles in there. Um, what else I got in here? My personal box. Uh, oh yeah. Look at here. You don't think I don't like them speed traps? This is the loudest square bill I think on the market. This is the Lure Jensen Speed Trap that my buddy Chad Porter told me to keep secret. Uh, they will absolutely eat this sucker's lunch. Uh, that's a root beer color. Uh, they don't hold up very well. You can bang these on some rocks and trees and for some reason they will break apart. Uh, Bob, the, these baits right here, strictly for burning. I don't slow roll this thing right now. I'll, I'll crank this really fast on a seven to one ratio reel. Uh, that is the Speed Trap and those are actually all pre repellent ones um i think that's all i got i'm about out of ba battery do you ever sand my baits no i don't I, I don't think that makes any bit of difference these baits come so good from the factory there's no reason to really modify them I mean, now you can do some little stuff to them but for the most part uh i don't sand on them or nothing now you know, I might add some weight around the hooks. Somebody asked about a wet bait. I want to show this off. This is pretty cool. This is a jackal or a mega bass I allow. This is a wake bait. And I bought this for myself. That color is white python. That's pretty sweet. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go to Dell Hollow Lake this week. Uh, leaving tomorrow night. I'm going to try to blog it for YouTube. I'm going to try to create one of those cool videos everybody sees. And uh, going up with my buddy Hunter Mills. Uh, hopefully, y'all enjoyed those square bill crank baits. I wish I'd charged my phone more because uh, I feel like I just only touched on a little bit. Make sure y'all watch Gene's video. Uh, I guess I'll have to make my own square bill video and really break it down. I like to do one just over colors, but any, most of all that stuff, except for my secret jackal crank bait, you can get on tacklefreaks.com. Uh, guys, be sure to grab you a tackle freaks hat. They're going to go quick. Uh, and check out all that new stuff. I'll be here at the shop. I won't be back till next Tuesday. Um, and that's it. Thanks to all the guys. Thanks to Hook Gear, ACS Marine. Make sure you give ACS Marines page a like. Um, yeah, Craig, I like a glass over graphite for the most part. Um, but I'm going to jump off here. Be sure to like, share this video with your friends. I got to go pack bags. I got to get my own tackle ready um, for a change. Uh, so guys appreciate all the love and support. Thanks for tuning in tonight And I do want to let you know I want to eventually move this over to YouTube. So uh, I'm gonna start doing the shows on YouTube as well uh, Video will be up there tomorrow. Thank you guys. God bless. Have a great night